Hey guys, it's Spacey Sims, and we are here with a really quick interlude um, from the My Little Pony Generation 2 House 2. I know I don't normally play these guys. I'm not actually going to be playing them per se. Dude, you gotta move because Nancy's on the run. Um, but I just kind of wanted to pop in here because I'm not 100% sure if I'm, what I'm going to be doing. But I'm kind of throwing around ideas, and what I'm thinking is since House 1... Um, our kids, we have two spares, basically. I was kind of thinking if we... Every, like, kind of hooked these guys up with each other, made some couples and had them have kids, um, there would be a couple of spares. Or even if there's only a couple of couples, maybe we only pick four of them to match up and we just kind of throw the other ones out or whatever. If there's favorites um, for pairings... Oh, I really am sorry about your hair. Well, um, wait, wait, wait. That was Pinky. Pinky's hair is missing, too? Oh, Pinky, I'm really sorry about your hair. Pinky and Twilight must have, like, some kind of pony illness. <laughs> like, that they're bald now. Oh. Uh, but anyway, so, if there are couples that you ship together in this house, I don't care who they are. Um, I think we actually had a suggestion for Flurry Heart Royal Gala. And I think... Bernard? You'll or it was Flurry Desiree. Heart and someone, because I'm not 100% sure. Blueberry. Um, Blueberry is not related to anyone in this house, but I don't know if they were related or if they were cousins. Well, no, because Cad no, Shining Armor is, yeah, and Cadence isn't related to either one of the princesses, technically. So, yeah, no, 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 that's fine. <laughs> so, yeah, that's fine. So, hey, what are you doing here? Go away. Hi, hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> so if there's anybody that you want to see particularly in this house with anybody else, I definitely love the idea of apple pie with somebody. I, just, I know that they kind of look, but apple pie and blueberry muffin would be like the cutest. I mean, we'd have to name her apple muffins, but, or if it was a boy, we'd have to name them apple muffins. I mean, I'm okay with apple muffin. <laughs> I actually like that pairing. I know that they're very similar color-wise. So it wouldn't be like the most fun, but we could totally like do like. We can mess around with the skin tone and hair to color too. I don't care if it they're born that way or we make them whatever we want to make them. That's perfectly fine with me. But I actually think that'd be really cute. Um, so if there's anyone, if like you do ship Flurry Heart and Royal Gala, I will make that happen. Um, apple pie and. Blueberry muffin is hilarious. Uh, you know. So, and then, I mean, and then if there's certain ones, so like if Oak Blossom, Firefly, Pound Cake, Bluebell, if any of those don't end up in a match, that's perfectly fine. I'm okay with that too. We don't have to do all of them. But then what I'm thinking is that at least whatever two we kind of kick out for Gen 3, um, if it's a Sunbeam and Top Hat or Tumbleweed and Merryweather or... Maybe it's Sunbeam and Merryweather because Top Hat and Tumbleweed we want to have as a gay couple. I'm fine with that, too. Um, then we could, you know, kind of have that, those Sims with other ones here and kind of do that as well. Um, again, we'd probably have to have two houses because I really don't want to have 15,000 Sims in a house again because I can't handle it. It's too many. Um, and I want to kind of keep it at this point eight and under. But if we have to do a second house, that's fine. I will do that. Um, and maybe we'll actually play them a little more often. Uh, again, not every week. Um, I can't really handle doing two every single week unless we cut the parts down. Um, because doing an hour worth of My Little Pony every Monday is a lot to do because I have eight series going on right now. I have That's a lot of time that I have to spend recording and editing and even though I don't really edit that much except for the beginnings and the ends but doing all the encoding and everything I spent my entire weekend doing this stuff for you guys so I kind of want everyone to understand that that I am not made out of time and money and effort <laughs> like I this takes a lot of time and I I just I don't have all the time in the world to keep doing all of this um and do two super long episodes. We can probably, you know, I mean, there's going to be weeks, obviously, that I might just keep going and do longer ones. Or we'll just keep them a little bit shorter. This way we can get more in. Um, you know, or if we do every other week with a second house and we just do 15-minute episodes that week, 
you know, just to kind of, even if it's 20 minutes, that's fine. We're cutting down a little bit of time, but, you know, I've been going over 30 minutes a lot and I don't want to, I can't sustain recording and prepping everything for like an hour for like all of that. That's, it's just a lot. And I would like to at some point get to the point where on a Saturday, it's not like two o'clock in the morning while I'm finishing recording that I've been doing all day long, you know, so um, and I can't, uh, during the week, it just, because it takes, actually it doesn't take as long to load the game as it used to, but it takes a while to load the game and then to set up to record and to do all that. And during the week is when, you know, I'm playing other games just for fun and I record them because I can record three or four episodes in the amount of time it would probably take me to record one Sims episode. I don't know why The Sims takes me so long to do, but it just does. It takes a lot longer to set up and get going and, like, plan things out and do things. Um, you know, because there's not a set flow to the game. You know, it's not like, okay, we're going to sit there and I have to click on these things. It's like, this has more story going. You have to set things up. Okay, I need to uh, readjust the house or I need to do this or, you know, make a sim over or do whatever. So it takes a little bit more setup and time and effort to do these, which I don't mind, but I just don't have the time during the week to do that. Like, it's a lot easier for me to do it on weekends, but in that respect, it takes a lot of time to record, so I don't have time to do four hours worth of one series, you know? So, so we might do a second house in the next generation and just kind of cut down the episodes a little bit when we do record that second house um, and see how that goes. I might not do it. I'm not 100% sure right now, so I don't want anybody to get their hopes up. Um, but in preparation for that, if that's a possibility, if that is something that I decide to do, then I would love for you guys to leave suggestions on who you want to see in this house kind of matched up together. So... Uh, we will go through, and I'll just look at everyone. So we have Blueberry Muffins, who is silly, dance machine, excitable, courageous. Oh, gregarious. Courageous. Oh, my God. I'm blind. Uh, and he is the leader of the pack aspiration. Not that any of this matters, but, you know, we're just kind of, you know. Yeah, blah, blah, blah to you, too. Uh, so we have Blueberry Muffins. Uh, we have over here, this is Firefly. Self-assured, loves the outdoors, active. He's got uh, the yellow skin, blue eyes, white hair. We can change, obviously, hair colors and everything. Blueberry Muffins over here has, like, mis miscellaneous color hair, green eyes. He's also gray-skinned. Um, we have Oak Blossom over here, who's our resident kind of hippie. She's clumsy, green thumb, active. Outdoor enthusiast, I think. Yeah. So this is our lovely uh, Oak Blossom. And like I said, we can always kind of adjust the kids however we see fit. Um, you know, color-wise, it doesn't have to. And I and don't worry about if, like, if you really do like Royal Gala and Flurry Heart together, that they're both pink. I don't care. Like, you know, we'll fix, we'll do whatever with the kid, or the kid will stay pink. Who cares? You know, I'm not gonna get worried about the skin tones. We can adjust them later if we want. If all of them end up yellow for some weird reason, you know what I mean? We can change skin tones based on their names and what we feel. I'm okay with that. Uh, stop playing on your phone so we can look at you. So Flurry Heart. No, this is Royal Gala. So, Royal Gala over here. Romantic, good, outgoing. We have Pound Cake. This is adorable. I kind of almost, in a way, kind of ship. Like, whoa, what the hell just happened? I could see Pound Cake and uh, uh, Bluebell. That's Bluebell, right? Yeah, I could, I could kind of see that. I could kind of see this. I could kind of see this happening. So, yeah, Bluebell. Okay, he just walked away from us. You walk away from me when I'm looking at you. Pause. Do you, like, have, like, the flattest nose ever? Kind of. Kind of a flat nose. There you go. There's our Bluebell. Apple pie, of course. Just the... Cutest, um... Flurry Heart's, like, in her face. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. <laughs> like, Flurry Heart's, like, in her face. Oh, my God. Could you open your eyeballs? <laughs> Good Lord! Well, at least they, like, hang it out. So there we go. Apple pie. I love her to death. And Flurry Heart. She's actually really pretty, too. So, yeah, I mean... 
leave comments on who you ship together in this house. I will make it happen and we will see what happens. So I might do that kind of like off camera once we get um, things. Um, otherwise, and then we'll just, I'll just get them all ready to have babies. And then once the babies are actually born or actually, you know what? Maybe we'll do that in another, like maybe we'll do that next week. If you guys between now and Nick's, so between Monday when this posts and Saturday, post up what you want to see. Um, otherwise, I might leave it another extra week. And then when we have matches together, I will come into this house. Um, unless we get a good, if we get a good feedback, you know, in the first couple of days that this is out between Monday and Saturday. Um, obviously, like I say, Monday and Friday, because I'm going to record on Saturday. So My Little Pony is the first thing I record, so. I probably won't see any comments that people post on Saturdays per se, but anyway. So in the week, during the week, post um, pairings that you like. We'll see who gets the most votes for what, and then we will, um, I'll make that happen. So if you like Flurry Heart, uh, I already kind of know that uh, there was a suggestion, I'm pretty sure, for Flurry Heart and uh, Royal Gala, Gala. So I'll take that into account. Um, my personals is like, if you want Flurry Heart and Royal Gala, I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, so then, with that pairing in mind, I kind of see, like, apple pie and blueberry muffin, so we can make apple muffin. Uh, or blueberry pie. Oh my god, if they have twins, apple muffin and blueberry pie. Oh my god. You know, or something like that. Uh, and then, I actually, so then I kind of actually do, because in Pound Cake, uh, Bluebell... Oak Blossom and Firefly, there has to obviously be a gay couple in there. So I kind of think, I don't know why, but I think in that case, with those four I left, I like Pound Cake and uh, Bluebell together. Um, and then that would leave um, Oak Blossom and Firefly, which, yeah, yeah, you know, oh. but... You know, and so, I mean, with, with even, like I said before, if we only, even if there's only two couples that we kind of ship together and the other ones are just kind of, we don't care about, that's fine. So I'll take that into account too. So any couple you have a suggestion, if you have a specific favorite, you know, you definitely want these two together, leave that. If there's other ones, if you don't care about the other couples, just say, you know, you don't have an opinion on them. If you have opinions, if you want to match up every single one of them, leave all of the couples that you want. Um, and we'll see what kind of pairings get the most votes. Uh, and even if you have a first or sec second option. So if you say, like, Royal Gala and Flurry Heart, Flurry Heart, but I'm also cool with Royal Gala and so-and-so. You know, I mean, if even if you have, like, a second option, that's cool. I'll take everything into account and kind of see how we go, what it works out to be. And, you know, if we only end up with, like, a really good voting for say two different couples we'll just work on those and we won't worry about the other four sins um we'll just work on the two and that's perfectly fine with me um because you know i think that'll be great but i'm actually wondering something while we're here i want to actually look because i know she has i want to see if this is, it doesn't show cousins so it doesn't show hold on a second So, all right, this is weird to me because um, Prairie Wind and Apple Pie are cousins, but it doesn't show them as being, like, she sh it shows she's got aunts and uncles, so this is her dad, this is her aunt, it doesn't, you can't even see aunts and uncles, so it's like, to her, she doesn't... Does she even... Let's see something in her relationship panel. I just want to test a theory, because this is weird. Oh, it does show cousins in this. Okay. That's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see if the game was tracking cousins. Because if it does track cousins, like in this case, we obviously... I don't think we want... Like... If she has a child, we really don't want that child... We don't want Apple Pie's kid marrying... Prairie One's kid, because they'd be second cousins. I don't know if the game goes into that level of detail. It seems a little weird to me, because I don't live in a place where marrying any kind of relation to you is normal. 
Um, and I find that really creepy and weird, and that's just me personally. I'm sure there are people who have no problems with that, and first cousins get married in weird places, and some people don't have problems with that or see an issue with that. I do, because that's genetically someone who is related to you. That's weird. Um, I almost find it a little strange, but not in a creepy kind of way, but it is weird when if you have two brothers who marry two sisters, which I actually know someone like that, which I think is kind of funny, because it's like, so you and your brother are married two sisters that's so weird so your kids are legit cousins <laughs> like straight up cousins on both sides like i'm cousin my cousin on my mom's side is also my cousin on my dad's side like same, that's so weird but you know what i mean you're not actually blood related to anybody it's just your cousins are on both sides of your family like you usually have cousins on your dad's side and cousins on your mom's side that aren't related but they are in this case so it's really bizarre. but so in this, I don't know, maybe The Sims doesn't track second cousins where, you know, I guess we'll have to find out so we could always add more kids to the thing and find out if, like, Tumbleweed and Sunbeam show Apple Pie's kid as being their second cousin or a cousin at all. If there's no relation there, then even though in my mind they're second cousins and that's awkward, I think... As the Sims game, they're at that point, it's saying, okay, we're not genetically related. Then maybe we could, we wouldn't have to worry about, okay, if they're kids, if we, okay, Sunbeam we kicked out of the house and she ended up with someone down the line that technically was at one point a cousin, which is just weird, but I don't know. I mean, I could probably like forget that just because it's the Sims world and the Sims are weird and the Sims used to have weird incest shit going on before they fixed that. Thank God I never experienced that because I would have creeped me out like, that's your mom! But, um, but yeah, so I mean, we can figure that out because we wouldn't, we'd try to keep it separate so that if Apple Pie's child was in the other house, she would have to marry, say, the other, either Top Hat or Merryweather, whoever's kicked out. Um, but at some point down the line, we would end up with, okay, now we really do have two kids left over that at some point, you know, Prairie Wind is on one side and Apple Pie's on the other and they were cousins, but... There's enough of a dissension where they're like, what, we're like six cousins three times removed? And since The Sims won't track that, we can just pretend that didn't happen. And even though it's a little odd, you know, it's kind of like at some point, if you think about it, I guess technically everyone's related. If, if, you, if you're religious and you believe in the Adam and Eve thing, which I'm not necessarily, I don't, but... You know, if you kind of believe that, then everyone's related. So, I mean, hi. It's kind of scary and creepy, but hey, what am, what am I going to do? Um, but, you know, I mean, so... Plus, isn't there, like, something, like, in DNA that... I swear there's some research or something that, like, everybody has some kind of certain thing in common. So it's like, everybody's kind of... We kind of prove that everyone's weirdly related. I, mean, I don't know. But, you know, they're not brother and sister, and they're not cousins. We're gonna get past it. It'll be, like, the fifth cousins or something at that point. Who's getting abducted now? Who's getting abducted? Why does it make that noise? Oh! Oh! Someone's getting abducted over here in the park! I don't know who it was. Oh, I don't know who it was. Somebody got abducted in the park. Hey, why are you two... Hey, you two. Someone got abducted in the park. I want to know who it was. Anyway, so, yeah, I mean, we can figure that out. We can try to make it like, you know, as as long as they're not, you know, showing that relation as cousins or anything. You know, otherwise we just end, when we end the series, we have two Sims. Like, here's the secondary Sim that came from all these families, and here's the primary one that came from the main six. You know, and then, okay, we have these last two Sims, and we couldn't combine their genetics because... They have kind of relations in the past, but we have these last two as opposed to the last one. So, you know, that works. And it might take a little bit longer to get to that point because we'll have two houses going, kind of. So we're taking our spares and instead of just, okay, now we're going from four down to two down to one, where we have two generations left after this one, you know, we have, okay, now we have these four and then we have these and then we kind of can do that. And I don't know, maybe we'll still only take the same amount of time. I haven't really thought it out, but... Anyway, just leave me your thoughts on who you want in this house shipped. That's basically the whole point of this. I wanted to make it really quick, but I'm not because I ramble. Anyway, 
So leave me your thoughts, leave me those ideas, and we'll make it happen. And either next week or the week after, we will come back, do all the matches up, and, um, you know, have those babies. Uh, and also, if you ship a certain couple, leave suggestions for baby names. Um, and if you have a preference, like uh, Flurry Heart and Royal Gala, I want to see them together, and I would love to see them have a boy named whatever, or a girl named whatever. Um, if you have boy and girl names, put it down. If you have a gender neutral name, put it down. Um, if you have a preference for whether they have a boy or a girl, slap that down too. Um, I would love to see uh, anybody who agrees with me, please let me know, but I would love to see blueberry muffin and apple pie and have them have blueberry pie and apple muffins as children's children's apple pie would be the girl and blueberry muffin and blueberry uh, apple muffin would be the girl and blueberry pie would be the boy. And we can make them have twinsies. I'm so in love with that idea. So I really hope someone out there agrees with me and thinks that's awesome. I really wanted to see who got abducted by aliens. Oh, here we go. Oh, Derpy. Why is it always you? Derpy, why? Why is it always you? The aliens love Derpsters. Look at... Oh my god, okay. I'm sorry. But you know that they don't have custom content googly eyes, but she's got googly eyes right now. She is so cross-eyed right now, and that is legitimately perfect. I need I need a screenshot of that. Anyway, I'm going to let you go. Leave those comments, and I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up, and subscribe to see more.